This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at equilibrium and Gibbs free energy. We'll start by looking at how the free energy of a spontaneous reaction changes as it proceeds from pure reactants to pure products. The free energy of a spontaneous reaction decreases until it reaches a minimum value. At the minimum value of Gibbs free energy, the reaction is at equilibrium. So equilibrium occurs when the reaction is at a minimum value of Gibbs free energy and a maximum value of entropy. This equation shows the relationship between the standard change in Gibbs free energy and the equilibrium constant K. In this equation, we have the standard change in Gibbs free energy, the universal gas constant, the temperature in Kelvin, and the natural log of the equilibrium constant K. When we rearrange the equation, we get the natural log of K is equal to negative the standard free energy change divided by the universal gas constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin. Therefore, the equilibrium constant K is equal to E raised to the negative standard change in Gibbs free energy divided by R times T. Let's look at an example. Calculate the value of the equilibrium constant K at 298 Kelvin for the following reaction given that the standard change in Gibbs free energy is equal to negative 32.96 kilojoules per mole. So first we find the natural log of K, which is equal to the standard Gibbs free energy divided by R times T. In this equation, I've changed the value of the standard Gibbs free energy change from kilojoules to joules. When we do this calculation, we get a value for the natural log of K of 13.3. So K is equal to E raised to the power of 13.3, which gives us a value for the equilibrium constant K of 5.97 times 10 to the 5. The large value of K means the equilibrium lies to the right, it favours the products, at 298 Kelvin. Next, we'll compare the values of the standard change in Gibbs free energy and the equilibrium constant K for different reactions. In the first reaction, we have a large positive value for the standard change in Gibbs free energy and a very small value for the equilibrium constant K. In the next reaction, we also have a positive value for the standard change in Gibbs free energy and a small value for the equilibrium constant K. Next, we have a negative value for the standard change in Gibbs free energy and a relatively large value for the equilibrium constant K. And finally, we have a large negative value for the standard change in Gibbs free energy and a very large value for the equilibrium constant K. So from this, we can see that the more negative the value of the standard change in Gibbs free energy, the greater the magnitude of the equilibrium constant K. And the more positive the value of the standard change in Gibbs free energy, the smaller the magnitude of the equilibrium constant K. It's also worth noting that the first two reactions, because they have positive values for the standard change in Gibbs free energy, are non-spontaneous at 298 Kelvin. The last two reactions, because of their negative values of the standard change in Gibbs free energy, are spontaneous reactions at 298 Kelvin. Next, we'll compare the composition of the equilibrium mixture for a spontaneous reaction on the left and a non-spontaneous reaction on the right. As we saw previously, when the reaction is at a minimum value of Gibbs free energy, the reaction is at equilibrium. So for a spontaneous reaction at the minimum value of Gibbs free energy, the equilibrium mixture contains mostly products. This would give a large value for the equilibrium constant K, meaning the equilibrium lies to the right. Next we look at a non-spontaneous reaction. At the minimum value of Gibbs free energy, the equilibrium mixture contains mostly reactants. This gives us a small value for the equilibrium constant K, meaning the equilibrium lies to the left. So let's end with a summary. Hopefully in this video, you've learned that the equilibrium constant K is determined by the magnitude and sign of the standard Gibbs free energy change of the reaction. For a spontaneous reaction where the standard Gibbs free energy change is less than zero, which means it has a negative value, the equilibrium constant K will be greater than one and the equilibrium mixture will contain mostly products, which means the equilibrium lies to the right. For a non-spontaneous reaction where the standard Gibbs free energy change is greater than zero, which means it has a positive value, the equilibrium constant K will be less than one, 
and the equilibrium mixture will contain mostly reactants, which means the equilibrium lies to the left. And finally, if the standard Gibbs free energy change is equal to zero, the equilibrium constant K will be equal to one, and neither reactants or products will be favored at equilibrium.